What's going on? No name zone? Um, no, don't. What do you mean? Um, someone has already called in for it and they're waiting on the line to speak to you, so I'm gonna put them on, okay? Oh, okay, cool. And, and I think their name is Zone. Zone? <laughs> I don't know if you knew who this person was, but hold on. Hey, what's up, Joan? Hey. What's up, my sister? Joan, Joan Confessions. Joan Confessions. I know exactly who you are. Hey, oh my goodness. Girl, you know you could have called me. Don't even play me. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're so glad you called the show. Thanks for tuning in. We appreciate you. Yeah. You're welcome. You're welcome. Joan has her own... Um, Joan has her own YouTube channel as well. It's called Joan Confessions. Okay. It's called Hello. I'm sorry. I'm it's, sorry. Say it again. It's called Joan's Confession on YouTube. Joan's Confession? Joan's Confession. Confession. Like, like taxi care profession. Joan Confession. Oh, Joan's Confession. I'm sorry, y'all. It's kind of hard to hear a little bit. Okay, so on YouTube, y'all go check out Joan's Confession. Yes, she's oh very God. funny. But this wasn't about me. I wanted to just call and say hi to Raven. <laughs> but thank you so much for um, <laughs> for telling people I appreciate that. So where you going, Joan? Why are you hanging up the phone? Huh? You're supposed to stay on the line as well, right? Yes, yeah, she's gonna stay on the line. I'm gonna just I'm gonna just mute her, but we're just gonna talk. So Raven. I was wondering, how did this, um, how did your YouTube channel come all about? Like, how did you decide you wanted to start this? Um, it was focused on, you know, a lot of discrimination, which I went through as far as, um, dealing with a lot of guys and stuff like that. And I didn't know that I had to do with download guys because when I transitioned, the guys I met was always in a club. I had no idea that they was, um, allegedly straight people. <laughs> right. I seen your video when you said that, right. And by the way, love the videos, love your song in the beginning. Sing it. Can you sing it for us? God, I love the little song. It's not a song. It's like it's like a little anthem I made because it's like for people to make people think, you know. So it's like, how you doing? As far as you know, where you at in life? How you been? Mm -hmm. That means what have you been going through that nobody knows what you've been going through? What's good? <laughs> is it good where you at? Is, is it good? Huh? Are you getting it in? That means are you getting that money in your pocket or is somebody getting that money in for you? In other words, you got somebody helping you. You know, basically, mm -hmm. it's just something in reference to, you know, just, just to make people think about where they are at their life and, you know, to try to keep them from not giving up, you know, because it's a hard world. And when you are a transsexual, it's even harder because you have to got a lot of different challenges and stuff. Right. Also, I'm sorry, also on the line with this is my co-host, Chi-Chi, and she also, like I told you, is a transgender um, Hi, Chi -Chi. woman. Hi, Chi-Chi. And uh, she's the one who actually turned me on to your videos. Chi-Chi, hola. Hi, Chi-Chi. How are you, sister? What's up, sis? How you doing, mama? I'm doing great. I just, um, I, um, I started looking at your videos maybe like a month ago, a month and a half ago, and I said, um, I called immediately my sister to see, and I told her, um, I saw this awesome girl, she is, she's awesome, and she, I mean, I think that you're a star, 
what you do, your style and what you do, and and the message that you give out there is amazing. I love it. You're funny. I mean, you do everything in your videos, and and I just have to say, you know, I'm a fan of you already. Cool. The thing is, like, you know, I I, I think I, my whole goal was, like, I didn't want um, the girls that's coming behind me to go through anything that I went through because a lot of times we in that world of believing that we're going to find somebody, they're going to fall in love with us, and, you know, we could come home to them and they'll love us and stuff like that. You know, I, I was not aware that I was going to be an experiment. <laughs> right. Right. So it hasn't, as you notice, it hasn't went well with me. <laughs> So I said, well, right. since, since I'm going to be every man's whore, I'm going to make sure every girl like me is well equipped about what's going down. So everything he's going to try to do to break her down, I'm going to shut him down. Yeah, I you do a great job saying it. You're doing a great job saying it. And the way you say it, you know, you come as very funny. And, you know, you make their, a message go across. And you get to the point, you know. So, I mean, that's a good thing you're doing, sweetie. I, I, I appreciate that because, you know, you make a lot of people realize or, you know, girls like us realize what's going on for real, you know? Yeah, I mean, it's, this is our lives they playing with. And, you know, we hurt, we cry. We didn't sign up, you know, to, well, I didn't sign up to be alone forever. I thought, you know, I mean, there are guys that, um, don't get me wrong, there are definitely guys that want to be with me, but I'm too afraid because, a lot of guys have told me that they wanted to be with me. When I give it a chance, next thing I know, I got played again. And then the first thing everybody likes to do is say, well, where do you meet these people? It's always your fault. It's never that you um, are trying to move forward with your life. It's always your fault. And then the simple fact of the matter is that when you say you've had enough and you don't want to, um, you know, move on with another guy, oh, but you just giving up and stuff like that. And you know, you got to keep fighting. What am I fighting? I'm fighting a man that love me. That just don't make sense to me. No, it's just fine. The man's going to find you. Yeah, right. The man is going to find you and it's going to be right when it's going to be right. But everything that you go through up until then is to prepare you for that is, is how I feel because we all have to go. You can't just shut yourself off from experiences because you've been hurt. You know what I'm saying? That hurt makes you grow. When you have a fear of something, it's always just to hold you back. So you should never let fear be the factor of anything holding you back. And when you get hurt, you always grow from it. So I don't think we should be scared of hurt. I think we should just really open our eyes and not be stupid. You know what I'm saying? The situation, but I don't know. I, I don't think we should just be scared of getting hurt. You know, because you always grow and you always become a better person from it. Well, see, this is my thing. Huh? Go ahead. Now, this is my thing in reference to that, you know, being afraid of hurt. I feel as though everybody's an individual. And like I said before, you don't know what every girl has gone through, you know, through her time and her past. And a, a, a lot of guys are not going to keep getting a pass to hurting the girls and stuff like that. There's going to be a retaliation of it after a while because we are human. Right. And, and to keep moving forward with more pain and more pain, it can you some girls like myself need to shut down because we're going to end up in jail for manslaughter. <laughs> because it, it, yeah, no, definitely, no, definitely not through no trauma pain, nothing like that. I'm just talking about like, you know, going through a relationship and breaking up because it doesn't work out, not because you know y'all fighting and it's birth, you know nope. what I'm saying? Like, nah, nothing like that. No, but that's want to take that. You know, no, 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 no. I understand what you're, you're saying. saying you're, on, you're saying you know, that. I'm just saying on a healthy level of pain, not on a unhealthy level. No, definitely get yourself out of unhealthy, unhealthy situations and. You know, totally, you need to love yourself first and foremost before you can love anybody else, you know? So, right. if it's unhealthy, you definitely have to get yourself out of that. Definitely. But I think, I, I also want to let you know what I see um, from your message and from the things that you do. You know, like my friend Chi-Chi. Chi-Chi has come from Chi-Chi. I'm going to talk about you for a second. I'm sorry. And, okay. and it's in a most Okay. Okay. Huh? okay huh? So, Chi Chi just comes from a place of... You know, wasn't fortunate like you to know that she was who she was at a, a early age. You know, and her not having the that about her and it's coming later in life. And you know, she really didn't have like 
the drag mom or, you know, like the club mom or somebody around. Because she wasn't in the club but didn't do anything like that. Like, you really are teaching and inspiring her. And I, I see that and I see her, like, exploring more. And, you know what I'm saying? Like, you're giving her that where she didn't have that. And I'm sure she's not the only one. Well... Well, that's a good thing. I don't know if that's a good thing or a bad thing because I always tell them I don't want them to, I don't want anybody to really like look up to me because of um I, I speak on jokes and I, I make them laugh and stuff like that, but I know I speak in a lot of anger. I do not hate men. You know, my thing is that No, I, but you speak real. But you speak real like, Yeah. Yeah, besides the men, you know, I know you have your whatever you want to do, in your past and whatever you but on other things, just on life situations and, you know, like the going to the bus stop where I was watching the one and you was growling, growling, fell out, and you was watching <laughs> But that's a real situation. You just hated comedy about it. But, girl, that was hilarious. I was like, hilarious. girl, I'm a, listen, I'm not, I'm not a transgender person, but people be looking at me, you know, because I'm a lot when I walk in the room. So, girl, I'm going to start growling at them, too. I get it. Like, <laughs> before I said as a joke like you know I don't want nothing to happen to anybody so you know I try to lighten it up and make it funny but they I hopefully they won't act crazy you know what I mean like really do it <laughs> you know but I'll be telling them oh, like I don't yeah I don't think I took it like that I mean listen some people are very you know huh, what you put out there you know you kind of got to be people just take it you know what I mean their own way but I didn't take it like go out there and just be crazy I took it yeah. like, it's a situation, it's situations that we've all been in, you know, say like you, whether it's a bus stop, the food stamp office, wherever, we all been in those situations, and that's how it makes you feel, like, do I have a bird on top of my head or something, like, what's going on? They can really take you. You know? Well, it's a lot. But you know, I you know one thing I think, Raven, I don't, uh, I think that at the end, your messages come out of love. Even though you think it's a little, you know, I mean, you come from experiences that you've heard or things. At the end, what you say, it's just, it comes to me that about love. You know, you say you do you the best way you can. You know, you do, you, you know, I'm not going to knock your hospital. You know, things like, you know, like that. But also, when you talk about, there's a lot of topics you talk about. You know, there's a lot of topics you talk about. You talk about love, you talk about relationships, you talk about a lot of things. But at the end, the message is inside all of that is love. And I think that's how, what you give. I think that's at the end what you give, right? Yes, exactly. You know, and the thing is like, I, I did it, the, when I first started the channel, it was like, I was upset with men. But I didn't, my whole thing is that I didn't want people to take me too serious. Like, I'm not a very, I'm a really playful silly type of person. I'm not as serious as, um, you know, sometimes I really come across. But then, you know, there's the times when you got, like, I get a lot of, I get a lot of I am emails and stuff like that from a lot of kids who tell me different things. And some stuff I have to withdraw back because I keep forgetting that there are younger people that's even younger watching it more so that's, you know, going through the same situation when they're like um, 13 and 10 years old and they're hitting me up and they're telling me that they're a girl and you know, and it's like, oh, my God. And sometimes I feel bad because I feel like I need to watch my language and watch what I say and stuff like that. But then when they hit me in the inbox and, you know, and I listen to what they say, you know, it's it's a real thing. It's not something that everybody's making it up. You know, but the thing about it with me, like I'll call my big sister because a lot of stuff that people say that's really mean, I make sure I delete it because I don't want them to see the stuff 
you know, that they try to say to me and stuff like that, because it's not going to bother me. You know, but I don't want them to, what, I don't want those type of negative things to keep being brought to their attention when they're already going through it. And my whole purpose is that I didn't want nobody to try to kill themselves for being true to themselves. And I wanted to let them know that they, right. didn't, they didn't have to try to fit into society, that they actually do have a place where they belong. Like I always say with me, and there's a bunch of us, so we all got each other. And that's the whole thing I kept trying to push out was like, because we try so hard to fit into society because we want to fit in so we can be loved. And we keep pushing down the doors and we do this what they say, do that what they say, and it's never good enough. And we find ourselves in a house crying when nobody's around. But then if we knew that we had a place where there were more people like us, it wouldn't hurt so bad. We'd say, well, I know I got raisins. You know, and at the end of the day, I know somebody going through something that I go through. And a lot of times at the comments, a lot of times, a lot of girls are leaving messages down there to let them know that they're not alone for the ones who are afraid to leave anything. Right. Well, it's a beautiful thing. It's a beautiful thing giving back and sharing and being there for people, you know, and loving, love, just showing love. That's, that's a beautiful thing always. Yeah. But to be honest, it's just like I, you know, I went, I know there's, you know, thousands of people that, you know, feel the same way I feel, you know, like, uh, and to have said, you know, I'm new and, you know, I, I realize who I am, you know, with, um, with, um, you know, not at the young age, but, you know, but with somebody like you, Raven, that, you know, is giving a positive message and, you know, just giving the real, real thing, you know, you learn something by that, you, you know, you listen, you, you know, I mean, everybody has their own criteria to, you know, choose what they want to choose from it, but at the end, like I said, your message is a message of love, and that's the beautiful thing about it, and I'm sure that just like me, there's a lot of people out there that look for you, after you, because of, you know, for that. And it's funny because when I... <laughs> When I started the video, I was trying to be, um, <laughs> this is how life is because it went, my videos went all the way to the left. And I always say that everything's going to the left when it comes to me. It never comes out exactly where well. I had wanted to make it more like a comedy skit, you know, more like jokes and stuff. But then it's like, you know, you have that day when things bother you and you just let it go. <laughs> go. Like, so, it went off. <laughs> right. And the thing about it is, you know, they was like, well, you're not passable. Your voice is too deep. And if I saw you on the street, I was like, so what? I said, I'm not trying to be passable. I said, you know, what are you? Are you black? Are you this? I mean, it's 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 funny because no matter how much of a message I give, it always goes to something else than what I was saying. So then after a while, you get mad. You say, you know what? I'm going to address some of these issues. <laughs> and I'm going to say some yeah, but shit. But you know what? That's really therapy for you. You know, that's really therapy. And it's, it's like, you know, like if you was writing, writing yourself down, you know, you're like doing a video diary almost. And it's really therapeutic for you to, to go through that and to get that out. And especially sharing with that with the world. That's like, that's really fearless too. Because, you know, you're opening yourself up to like, uh, you know, people are just retarded and crazy. And the most negative things. Especially when people are trying to be positive, you know. You always have somebody just acting retarded in the crowd. That's no true. haters. Always, always. That's but I mean, true. congratulations, and that's a big thing, and you shouldn't take it lightly at all because it's very big, I, and it really is. It's touching a lot of people and helping people, and congratulations. I appreciate it so much, but like I said, I'm a little, I'm still shocked at how this whole thing is, you know, like, you know, because I talk to them because my whole thing is I don't want to, like I always tell them, they don't need me. I need them more than they need me because I know I can't do this alone. And without seeing one of them, or seeing one of them that look like me, it makes me feel good. You know, I don't, I don't, I don't do the thing in reference to passable. I don't do the passable thing because a lot of girls like me, like myself, is not going to be passable. And we shouldn't register ourselves on trying to be that way when you have actually females out here who don't even look like females. So why are we beating ourselves up to be something and just be happy? You got right. You got two arms. You got two legs. Whatever you don't have, honey. Trust me, you don't need it. Yeah, okay. that's true. But, Ray, let me tell you something. I think, and I told MC this, um, I think you're, everybody's a genius in something. And I think you're a genius in this, what you do. Thank and you. And you gotta keep doing this, this, because 
you know, just like everybody has their own gift that God gives them, this is the gift that God gave you. And you are, you know, you are helping a lot of people out there without you even knowing it. So, well, thank you. You know, I definitely didn't know it. <laughs> okay, I have one more question. I have one more question before we kind of wrap this up. I know we kept you on the line for a minute. I've seen the interview that you did with the, um, it was Sirius Radio. Yes. XM. Is that okay. So how did you feel? Because um, I know going into the situation is a lot different as where we're at LGBT radio station is. We know pronouns and he did. He was trying to invite you over there to like you, to school him basically on the transgender right wrong la 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 la. How how did you like that? Well, see, for one, for me, like, I love people. So if, I mean, I love people, period. And that's the kind of person I am. So I kind of do things through empathy, like a person who really don't know. If a person really don't know, right. you can't be really mean to them because they really may not know. I mean, you have the people who, right. who, who do know who just being Be mean. very sincere. Right. But he may not really know. And if he don't know, he know now. But the thing about it is... Yeah. You know, um, it was it was just an issue that I, I, I dealt with it. I mean, I used to work in a gay club for four years, and the way they used to address me, it was like they were straight, and I was the only person that was in there that was like this. And I'm not saying all gay people, because I have tons of gay friends. I have tons of female friends. But the thing about it was I dealt with the issue when it came to them, and I was like, if, if the straight people treat me way better than the gay people, then what is really wrong with this picture? Because the problems I had, it's never really been from the straight people. It's been through my own, I call it my family, because regardlessly, the LGBT is still a part of our family, whether we want to do it or not. Some girls continue not to. But when it came down to him at hand, when it came down to dealing with him at hand, I didn't see anything wrong with what he was saying. I, I feel as though he's kind of more like a Will Smith type of person. He's like a comedian. And I'm a funny person. So when you're funny, you see somebody funny. It's not, you know... Right. It's not that serious as far as, you know, like he kept saying normal, normal. And I was letting him know that you're not normal. You walk around with shorts on. You know, if you're a real man, you don't wear shorts. You don't wear women's panties. You'll go commando before you put a pair of women's on because it makes you feel feminine. So the thing about it is for you to do all these things, it seems to be a little, you know, suspect. So I made him think. I know. I noticed he kept saying this. Like, you know, it just, it just made me feel so funny. It's like, oh, I talked to him. I, like, I stopped people listen who is them you know i don't care if they're talking about a chinese person a black person a, a gay person a, I don't, who is them ain't nobody is them they're people you yeah. know what i'm saying find a better whatever it is asking for them whatever the hell that knows i don't even know y'all y'all know my I don't, side. but you know what see this is whatever thing. it is find it better i don't have a problem with him calling us them because at the end of the day oh. we call them them too so my thing is that, um, <laughs> okay, that, that so don't, as long as it's equality. you know, but don't, that don't bother me because at the end of the day, he could use another word that could really piss us off and stop the world up. You know what I mean? But, you know, he could call us them because at the end of the day, like I was trying to tell him and I, I tried to make a point to him to see, cause he was like, y'all are coming up and stuff like that. And I was like, well, you have to understand this. If the world was basically white at one point and a black person came inside of the office, working inside of the office. How do you think that white person feels seeing that black person in there? You don't think that they stared at you? And he was like, well, I don't really think that. But you, you have to think that because we, in, in a melting pot that we are all together, if there's somebody different inside of a certain situation, we're all going to stare. We're human. Just like he said, well, do people stare at me? Of course they stare at me. I stare at people. If a girl got a nice outfit on, I'm looking at her. I'm looking at her shoes, looking at her hair. If a man is dressed up, he looks nice, I'm looking at him. I'm not going to be disrespectful and just, you know, just stare at him. But we are all a human, and we're so hard on each other when we see somebody that's yeah. different. But that's the point I was trying to make him because the whole thing took place inside of an office. And I was just, you know, making a point that when someone is white coming inside of a place, do you not think that they didn't have us? I mean, I understand people want to do the black and white thing, but you got to understand from two sides. When a white person has been working inside of an office for such a long period of time and she sees somebody black, I'm talking about back in the day, I'm not talking about now, when it all the, the whole thing started coming in, because that's the whole thing that we're going through as well. Transsexuals is not going to be accepted as, as quickly as people want them to. They're not going to be as welcome as quick as it's going to take a process. It's going to take time. 
the gay people have the gay marriages and I don't see no gay, gay men holding hands walking down the street because they're scared. <laughs> they're scared okay. they're going, somebody's going to beat their ass. Well, I know them lesbians. We holding hands, girl. But the, the women, one thing I always said, like I always said, I love my women. If you ever want to go to a war, bring all women with you and things will get done. <laughs> Because <laughs> women do not play. Hallelujah. Women do not. Women do not play. I'm sorry. I said women do not play, honey. I love my women. I have tons of female friends. Tons of them. Especially, girl. I don't know if you know we're from the south, honey, with us right here. But girl, we don't play either. And she, she baby, she just from Colombia. She comes, you know, and they she, she, she comes through, girl. She looks soft. Yeah, that's get through the river. <laughs> but that's the thing, you know, it's 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 just I always said women are much more stronger than men, but you know, man wants to be strong, but a woman I I, I learned a lot of things. Women have to be. Huh? Women really have women really have to be. Men can't um, I don't think a man can have a child sex. Well see that's you know the, what I but see, that's the problem I was saying before as reference to transsexuals, that they don't understand. Some of them don't. You want a man to be with you, but he's looking at you as a woman. And he's looking at you as a woman. He's thinking of pre-creation. He wants you to have his baby. He don't know exactly what to do with you. And, you know, as far as the sex, and that's about it. But the thing about it is that he's afraid of what people would say because if he brings you home, he can't have a baby with you. He can't do all these things he's thinking when he looks at you. I don't care how beautiful you are, how passable you are. At the end of the day, you cannot bring a baby into the world. I mean, you could bring one in, but it won't come through your body. <laughs> you know, and that's the thing about it. Right. It makes right. him so confused when it comes to it. But the thing about it is, you know, there are men out here that will mess with transsexuals. And, you know, it is what it is. You just, some of the lucky ones get it and some <laughs> don't. It is what it is. It is what it is. I love that. <laughs> yes, indeed. Well, Raven, over. I got just a little question for Raven. Raven, do you think that um, some transgender, like us or whoever, you know, do you think they might have, like, what they, you know, what the essence, like a feminine essence, like, um, you know, something that goes beyond, of, you know, like something spiritual that gives you that? Because I think about sometimes I have what they call like the, the, the um, I don't know how you say the, the female six sense or whatever that you like have that feeling that things, how things happen or this whatever, like I see that my mom had that and I was like, I feel like I have that. Do you think like, you know, even being born man, we can have that like, you know, like that supernatural female, female intuition kind of thing? Yeah, female intuition. Well, see, that's kind of self-explanatory because you are a transsexual, right? What's that? You are a transsexual, right? You gotta take a clue. You're a transsexual, right? I'm a transgender, yeah. Right. So by you being transgender, um, you already have the essence of a woman. So quite naturally, you will have a woman's sense. Sense. The whole thing about it is, you know, you're gonna pick it up as well. You know, but it comes up within a lot of different areas, a lot of different things. No, everybody has a gift. You know, everybody's a walking spirit within their own selves. And most angels have no sex, which mind me of transsexuals. Because we're not neither man, we're not neither woman. We're just like stuck in the middle of a spiritual being. Mm -hmm. And when you're so different, everybody stares at you. People don't quite know what to do with you. You know, but you're, yeah. you're, you're more humble within yourself. It's just the reaction you get from other people that makes you feel uneasy. And you better preach, honey. And you had better preach, honey. You better listen to our praise, praise later, Lou. You got a praise break coming on for you, baby. I love her. Don't preach to them people, girl. They ain't ready. It's late night. But it's funny. You know, it is what it is. Like I said, I love people. And I always look at everything through everybody's point of view. You know, I, I get it. I don't like it. And I get upset because right. I always feel like this. If you don't want to be with me, you don't have to mess with me. Don't play mind games with me. And it's a lot of that going on. Right. And then right. and then the thing about it with me, Definitely. like the thing about it that got mind me. Games. 
I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I was going to say, I think the mind games happen because people really don't understand their own self. And they don't understand what they want. So, you know, how can you be real with someone or, you know, treat someone a certain way when you don't even know what you want in your damn self? Well, it's very confusing. I, but it's very confusing with a man because... He's looking at something that looks like a woman got titties, ass, and everything. You know, he's excited by it. Now, when he pulls the pants down and something else is there, he's a, he's a little, you know. But nine times out of ten, he definitely. Huh? Nine times out of ten, he's definitely. Okay. Nine times out of ten, he's definitely going to, um, either he's going to do it or it's going to come back to it. But nine times out of ten, it's going to mess with him and he's going to speak, but he's not going to bring it to. I'm not going to say every man because everybody's different. Like I said, we're all spiritual beings and we all have a purpose for what we do. You know, but nonsense out of 10, he ain't, take, he ain't taking you home to mama. <laughs> okay. Not yet. Okay, honey. I know that's right. Some of them will, but, okay, some, of, a, but some of them don't even take the fuel. She got one. She got her old compadre, baby. Huh? What do I got? What do I got? Oh, a compadre. You got a man? <laughs> Chichi, you got a man? Oh, yeah. Oh, congratulations. <laughs> Thank you, sweetie. God bless uh, you. I mean, he met me when I was gay, man, but, you know, but he loves me the way I am. So, you know, I mean, it is what it is, you know? I mean, it, 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 it's different for everybody. Everybody, you know, thinks, you know, it should be this way or that way or that way. But if somebody loves you for who you are inside, I guess that's what really matters, you know? You're right. You're absolutely right. I always feel as though I, I probably will have someone. It's all about location. Because if you, is it where you live at? And, you know, it's not, it's not happening. It's not happening. It's all about location. But I'm so happy that's for you. Girl. See you living a dream. And that's a good thing. And I need to get out more that the girls are getting, you know, that they're finding men. That's a good thing for me to hear. It doesn't give me hope, but it's it's a good thing. Nah, I, I'd rather come to the wedding and watch. I'll sit in the back and eat my grapes. <laughs> oh, but we're gonna go to the I'm gonna let you know. Chess, I'm gonna keep you updated. We're gonna go together and cut up. Okay, let's cool. Cause I love weddings. All right. <laughs> yeah, That's right. I love a wedding. Come at, look, look, Miss Raven, coming as Rainbow Radio, honey. We're covering the wedding. Yes. Yes. <laughs> That'd be nice. Can we get in this <laughs> but the thing is that, you know, we need to see more of these type of things because it'll give the girls much more hope. You know, when you see these type yeah. of things that it do exist. Because it makes them not want to, you know, it makes them want to try harder. Not try harder, but just make them want to believe that there is someone out there for them. But there are a lot of girls who yeah, are. We have, huh? we have a friend, her name is, we have a friend, Marissa. Marissa is a transsexual woman, and, and she's been with her, um, her man, Jeff, for four or five years. God bless so, her. Yeah, we, 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 know, we know a few couples who have been, you know, together for, and on relationships, you know, and it's good. That's beautiful. We need to see more of that, though. We really need to see that more. You don't need to see Raven's okay. angry. You don't want to. You don't need to see Raven's angry can't find a man video. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, no. Raven, no. The hell up on the video. I'm like, you get. Uh, how you doing? Exactly. Um, <laughs> and what else you say? The best way you what can. You say? Nobody else oh. like it. Pokemon. No, no. I said you do you. You do you. You do you. Read on. 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 Read because I'm not going to sit back and... Hey, guess what? Hey, guess what? You, you look fabulous. Right you look fabulous. It's how you to buy is how you wear it. You know Thank what you. you. What they yeah. call swag. You right. You absolutely yeah. right. And I'll be showing them. Like, I'll be like, I'll be showing them my outfits and stuff on Facebook. I'll be like, 
I have to cost two dollars, and you know, because I don't want people to spend all their money on stuff that you know you can't afford to try to keep up with the Joneses when you know you live and in that's a. What they do, they try to steal. Exactly, but you know I can't stop up, that. Y'all mugs gotta look good. That's it. I need to give me some hair now because I think my ratchet hair <laughs> needs to be replaced. <laughs> yes, ma'am. Well, ma'am, we got to get into some of this music. I really, really appreciate you for joining us tonight on this Thank show. you for having me. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, please pass through anytime you feel like it. Come back if you have anything that's going on you need to announce or promote. Just get with me. We'll definitely have you back anytime you want. Um, Where are you located? Thank you for coming through. Where are you located? Sorry. Where are you located? We're, we're located in Louisiana. Oh, okay. Oh, that's cool. You're in New Jersey, right? I'm in Newark. Oh, New yeah, okay, Newark. Yeah, I don't like you to get I, mean? I don't like to give it out too much because I have stalkers. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yes, girl. Yes, you I East Coast. Yeah, I knew, it was, I knew it was East Coast somewhere, so um Thank you so much for coming through. We appreciate you. Keep doing what you're doing. And, I mean, congratulations. We look for bigger and better things from you. Thank you, and thank you so much for thinking about me when you didn't have to. I appreciate it so much. Thank you, Raven. You need to come with us. You need to come again and, and talk with us. And, you know, this is your house, Raven, you know. Thank you. I appreciate uh, it. I, I, I receive it, uh, and I will take it. And I appreciate it so much. And thank you so much for thinking of me. Anytime, honey. We're going to go with some tenacious, y'all. He's just school boy, too. We're still on. Thank you for coming through, y'all. Thank you. Bye. 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 Bye